Hi, and welcome to another edition of Life's Glass Edition. Uh, today we're going to discuss metalizers in our enhancer range. Uh, at present, we stock a copper metalizer, a silver metalizer, a gold metalizer, uh, bright gold is one of our new ones, and also uh, the latest one we have now is one called bright aluminium. But I'm going to stick with copper metalizer today. I'm going to spray it over this black plastic dipped alloy wheel. Um, putting on one or two coats should just give a metallic shimmering effect of that colour, whether it be silver, copper, gold, um, or whatever. Um, but then we're going to start adding extra coats to see the copper metalizer colour take over the black entirely. So by perhaps coat four or five, we should have a very strong copper coloured alloy wheel. Um, just before we start, uh, if you're taking a can of plastic dip out of a shed or out of a garage and it's quite cold, warm it up first. Bring it into the house, leave it in there for an hour. Or if you're in a bit of a hurry, get some warm water, uh, put it in a vase and drop the can in there. Leave it in there for five or ten minutes, take it out and then shake the can for at least one minute. That way you're mixing the entire contents of the can. You're going to get all your product out of the can and you're going to get a smooth uh, spray finish. If you don't do this, you get some kind of splatter or, or spitting of the paint and the texture won't be as smooth. So warmish can and mix well. So let's get this into the workshop and start spraying. Okay, we've got our wheel set up here. I've added a bit of extra light because uh, the lighting in here is not great. So I want to show you as much detail as I possibly can. See what you think. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to spray. Um, just uh, another tip is every time you spray with your uh, plastic dip with an aerosol can, uh, before you put the can down, just wipe the actual nozzle uh, because the skin will form and dry over. Now, when you go to spray, it'll blow off, but that might actually land on your project. Uh, so some guys just uh, pick up the can, give it a little shake, spray away, and then spray on the target. Uh, whereas I just give it a little wipe, put the can down. Next time I go to spray, um, it'll come out nice and clean um, and remember always uh, in between sprays give the can a little shake just to keep just keep the contents really well mixed so look let's get a we're going to get one coat on we'll see how that looks Uh, our first coat on. I'm going to zoom in and we'll just have a little look at how that looks. Okay so here we have one coat, one lightish coat of copper metalizer over the matte black plastic dip. Um, I'm going to continue on now and add uh, three coats onto this and see how it looks after three coats. As I, as I say if you want to still see your black one to two coats of your metalizer will be enough. Uh, if you keep then spraying your metalizer color coat after coat it obviously becomes darker and darker so in, in our case we should end up with a copper color wheel when we're finished. Okay, look, while this plastic dip is drying, you can see the copper is now starting to take over the black, but the black adds a nice bit of depth to it, so probably one of the best colors to use with a copper or a gold metalizer would be matte black finish. Uh, as with any metalizer, you must have a coat of some color plastic dip on your painting project, whether it be wheels, cars, whatever. You have to have a color of plastic dip on first, then you add your metalizer. It won't work on its own. So uh, we'll let that try out. Um, obviously it's very easy for me just to be turning this thing around when I'm spraying it. When it's on your car and you've got a tire on here, you got your braking calipers, uh, one tip is get a bin liner bag, shove it through the spokes uh, and get it in around the brake disc and the brake caliper and that'll keep any paint off your braking system. Uh, second thing is any plastic dip that gets on the tire, don't worry about it. I mean you can mask off your tire if you wish, but if you don't mask off your tire, 
just leave the tire alone till the whole job's completely finished. At that stage, you're probably gonna have maybe uh, four coats of Plasti Dip on your wheel and on your tire. And you'll find it'll just, once you cut into it at all with your nails, you'll just be able to pull the whole thing off the wheel. And any bits left, you'll just be able to rub off with a cloth. The other thing is, get your car on a level ground, take the handbrake off, um, put a block uh, about eight inches away from the back wheel, eight inches away from the front wheel, and this will allow you to move the car a couple of inches forwards or backwards so you can get in and out of these spokes, uh, especially intricate spokes like this can be difficult to do. Uh, flat alloy uh, face wheels are a lot easier, uh, but in this case, it'll allow you to move the car backwards and forwards. Uh, rather than trying to get the can down in here, you'll be able to spin it around and get the spray in at this angle here. Uh, so let's let that coat dry off and then we'll um, we'll go for either one or two more coats and then we'll get a close-up of how the finished thing looks like. Alright, that's pretty much dry now. Um, just a couple of tips, plastic dip. 10 minutes between each coat uh, in normal weather conditions up to uh, 17, 18 degrees. Once it gets a bit colder, uh, the drying time takes longer. This stuff takes 24 hours to cure completely, but I mean, once it's touch dry, you can start to drive around your car again. You don't have to wait uh, a whole day for that. Uh, another thing is washing, leave for at least a week before you attempt to wash uh, any plastic paint job. If it's put on properly, you can use a pressure washer or just a hose, soapy water and a sponge and off you go. Now, to get this shade, we put on three very heavy coats and one light coat at the start to get this dark uh, copper effect over the black Plasti Dip. Now remember, with any enhancer, you're supposed to have a base coat of Plasti Dip, uh, whatever your color choice, and then you apply your uh, enhancer, your metalizer, your glossifier, your clear coat, whatever it's going to be. Um, so to get this dark shade, you're going to need two if not three cans to do four alloy wheels up to 17 inches. Um, two cans, and it's probably going to be just, uh, you probably won't really notice the difference, so you get away with two cans I would say. And then if you just want to put two light coatings on each wheel, one can will suffice. It just depends on the effect you want. I have to say I do like this copper colour over the black, so I would probably go with the, uh, the extra can. Um, before you go, I'm going to zoom in on this to give you a closer look under this lighting what the actual copper effect looks like. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click on our subscribe button.